Hi, this is Matt with another amateur instructional video. Uh, today we're going to be showing you how to use CMS software with your 06 camera system. So to begin the process, I'm going to show you how to install the application. Okay, so essentially it will come in a zip file. You'll open the zip file and you'll have these two files here. You'll have a manual and you'll have the install for the application. So you'll, you can certainly read the manual, but to install it, you'll double click the CMS application. You'll click OK for English if that's your native language. OK, it's going to pop back up, create a desktop icon. That's up to you. I normally do. Click Next. OK, and then if you've had any previous installations of CMS, which you probably haven't, um, you could keep that box checked or not. It, it wouldn't hurt you either way. And then essentially you click Next and then you click Install. OK. For the purpose of this demo, I've already installed the application. OK, but that's how you do it if you have it. Uh, installed it. So I'm going to go ahead and exit the setup here. Okay, I'm going to open my CMS application, which I have installed over here. An instance is already running. Okay, well, it looks like I already had it open. We're going to open it one more time, though, just so you can see a fresh open. Okay, there we go. Now it's open. Okay, now it's searching for your devices, which it normally does. It'll try to automatically add them if at all possible. Okay. We're going to click cancel though because I'm going to show you how to manually add a camera or your NVR system in its totality uh, to, this, to the CMS software. Now before we do that, I want to come over here to where we've got the 06 um, NVR set up on my uh, TV here. And the first piece of information you're going to need, you're going to right click the screen, you're going to go to system setup, you're going to go to network setup, and you're going to write down this IP address, okay? That is how you're going to add your NVR to the CMS software, okay? So we'll come back over here, and I will show you how to do that, okay? Now this is how it should look when you open it up for the first time. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to um, go ahead and click Settings up here. You're going to go ahead and select Area, okay? And you're going to click Add Device, okay? Now you're going to type in that IP address. So in this instance, it's 192 for the purpose of this demo. 168 and 0.115. Okay. Now uh, port should be fine. Um, username is up to you. By default, it's admin. That's what I'm using for the purpose of this demo. And as you know, with your NVR unit, by default, there's no password. Okay. So I also left the password blank. Um, now we have an eight camera system, so we're going to put eight here for channels. Um, but you can change the device name if you like, it's really up to you. I'm going to go ahead and click confirm, and that should add the device. We'll give it here just a minute. Um, okay, it looks like it added it over here, so we're going to go to the preview tab up here, and we're going to select it and see what's going on. Now, if nothing pops up right away, uh, I found if you come down here and you click open all, it'll work. It'll show your cameras, okay, if they don't pop up immediately, okay? And now you can select through your various channels, you know, channel one, camera one. You can look at all of them, okay? Um, now you've got some information down here. This is kind of a log uh, just to see what's going on in terms of in the background processes. Uh, you can see I named my camera Bob, but normally... Uh, let's see what channel that adheres to. That would be, I believe that's my first channel. Okay, so um, additionally, just to kind of walk through some of these instances, we're going to uh, go to settings here, and we're going to go to uh, device settings. Now you notice nothing shows up automatically. What you want to do is you want to go over here and you want to click the IP address for the device you just added, your NVR, and now you notice all the information is populated, okay? You've got your device name, software, uh, version, everything. And you can cycle through here. You've got general settings, um, network settings, um, encoding, record, uh, screen settings. Now again, pan, tilt, zoom settings are not going to work for our fixed cameras, okay? They don't turn 180 to 360 degree angles. Uh, video detection settings. Um, alarm and channel. Now the reason why I'm kind of cycling through these fast is they're the same settings 
that are on your NVR unit, okay? If you wanna set these up from the software, the changes will propagate on over to your NVR box, okay? You can set them up remotely instead of having to go to your NVR box by using this CMS uh, software, okay? Um, additionally, um, and of course under device manage, it shows our device over there, but additionally, we have something called local settings. Now, just to be clear, um, Local settings are gonna be settings that are set up locally on your computer running the CMS software, okay? Um, I'll get to that a little bit further, but you have options here as uh, general, record, and storage. So essentially, what it's saying is that if you would like to set up times to record the data feeds that are showing up over here in the preview, you can do that. Um, you, can, you can do all sorts of things here locally okay so these are going to be saved locally to this computer and they're not going to be saved on your nvr unit and they're not going to affect your settings on the nvr unit okay i just want to be clear of that okay so certainly you have the option of, of setting up some of these local settings in addition you can go to user manage um, this talks about the user rights for this username um, you can also click uh, this is your current user you can click user manage and you can add an additional user and then you can set up user rights there accordingly. Um, last, you have the version tab, which just shows what version of CMS you're running, uh, the build and all that sort of information. Um, advanced, I don't typically use. I doubt most users will use it. Um, it, it, it talks about it as various um, functionalities in terms of screenshots. Um, I don't think you're gonna get a lot of use out of it. Um, unless you take a lot of screenshots, and certainly you, you can look at them here. Um, user up here is where you're logged into. Currently, we're logged in with this username and password, so you can change your user at any time if you'd like, um, if you have an additional user that maybe has different rights on the NVR. Um, beyond that, I want to go to backup up here. Now, the reason why I talked about local and remote is because if you look down here, you have different settings here, okay? Local is what I'm recording on this computer with the CMS software, okay? Now, remote is going to be what I'm recording from the NVR. Those are settings that I've set up on the NVR, okay? So the purpose of the backup is we wanna uh, basically watch video that we've already recorded, okay? Now, I'm gonna start by looking locally to see if I have any recordings um, that I've set up here on my CMS software on this computer that's been saved on this computer. So I'm gonna click search here. Okay, search completed, doesn't come back with anything. We're gonna check the third. Search completed, doesn't come back with anything. And that's because I haven't set up these settings, okay? I haven't set up any local recording settings. So what I'll do is I'll click the remote radio button and I will search for the third on the NVR, okay? And let's see if it finds anything. Okay, I've found multiple videos, uh, record type timing on camera one and two I can just select one of them um, and it, it, it shows the backup. Okay, so what this will do here, um, I may have misspoke a little bit, but this isn't the actual playback portion. This is just the backup. So it's showing me what it's backed up. And right now I can click start backup down here. And I, okay, first of all, I'd select a file. Let's say I select the first one. I'd click start backup. Okay and it will let me save it to any device in my computer. I can save it to a flash drive, to a network drive, to my desktop, I can give it a name, um, whatever I'd like to do, okay? Now the playback portion, which is what I uh, spoke about initially, um, you can do the same searches. So I could search locally, which I know I don't have any recordings, um, or I could search remotely on the NVR, and we know we just saw a, a bunch of recordings. So we're clicking search, and if you look down here, it shows the recordings. So I'm gonna click right here, and I'm gonna, and it should start playing. Let's see here, it, it started to play for me right away, okay? So this is between seven and nine o'clock on channel one and channel two, and I did a remote search for uh, data that's been backed up based on my settings on the NVR, and I'm looking at the NVR data that's been backed up on the NVR drive right now. Again, if I, if I had set up local settings using the CMS software on this computer, I'd select the local button and I'd do a local search and I would look down here and I would essentially play back from there, okay? Um, last, I wanted to show you, um, now, 
here's, here's an additional feature, okay? Now you have the local settings, which I showed you. The other part of it, though, is that you can right-click any screen and you can start recording, okay? You can essentially do a manual record, okay? In case you didn't set up any local settings and you happen to have it up and maybe you just wanna record whatever you're seeing, okay? So the options down here are setting up a manual record. You can do a screenshot, which you can go to advanced up here and you can look at that screenshot, as I mentioned, which to me, video is uh, more important, but if you wanna take a screenshot, click that button, go to advanced, here's all your screenshots, okay? Um, you can run a search, local or remote, and you can grab screenshots from there. Okay, so additionally, uh, this just talks about, um, you know, various window settings, um, you know, whether you wanna go full screen, that sort of thing. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Uh, the CMS software um, is, is very helpful. There's so many different features. I, I've covered the majority of the features. It's, it's a great product. It really does a lot for the OSIC system. Um, there's a lot of capability there. If you have any additional questions, uh, please feel free to reach out. Until then, have a great day.